Welcome to a new video from Innershop, and today we have here a JBC B iron. Here we have a JBC Precision B iron soldering station. This soldering station is one of the first wireless soldering stations out there. At this moment in time, this soldering station is still not available for sale, but we got the chance to review this soldering station. But why would you specifically want a wireless soldering station? Advantages of it being wireless are that you can easily place the station anywhere you want and no cable management is needed. Furthermore, the soldering iron is wireless, so there is no cord that will know you. A disadvantage could be that the tablet on the station or the iron will have an empty battery at some point, so you need to charge regularly. If you are soldering for long periods of time without even putting the iron back into the holder, this may become a problem, but this is hardly ever the case. But let's discuss the station itself. First of all, this soldering station consists of a wireless soldering iron, the B210. The tool is fully compatible with C210 soldering tips, so there are already many different tip shapes available for this soldering iron. Furthermore, the B210 is very light, so it is easy to handle. The B210 also has a LED ring on the other end of the iron, which shows the status of the iron. For instance, if the iron is low on battery, in hibernation or ready to use. The iron is connected with Bluetooth to this tablet, which will be your interface for configuring your B iron and many other features. The app installed on this tablet provides quite a lot of features. First of all, there's a temperature graph so you can see at what temperature the soldering iron is and how much power it is using. Next to it, you can adjust the temperature of the iron and you can see how much battery the iron has left. Furthermore, you can change some parameters to your liking in the settings. Besides the iron and the tablet, there's also a stand. You can put your tablet on here and connect it for charging. And you can put your B210 in the holder which also charges your iron. If you want to charge any of them, you do have to connect the stand with a cable to the socket. If the iron is in hibernation mode and you want to use the iron again, the iron will turn back on when you just pick it up. Do remember that the iron will never turn off and stay in hibernation mode when you're charging it. If you want to turn the iron completely off, turn the iron 90 degrees so the charging connectors of the iron do not make contact with the connectors of the station. Or simply leave the iron on the table. On the stand you can also remove your soldering tip easily while it's still hot. And quickly insert a new tip into the iron. Lastly, there is a small compartment for cleaning your tip with some brass wool that is covered by an anti-splash cover and next to it a wiper. The anti-splash membrane is to prevent solder from flying back at you when you're cleaning your tip in the brass wool, since that happens sometimes. Soldering with the B210 feels quite good. The iron feels light and I experience no problems while trying out some soldering. Since there is no cable between the iron and the station, the iron is very easy to handle from all angles. And it doesn't feel like your iron is getting pulled down or pulled away. When you pick up the soldering iron, the tip heats up really fast so you can basically use it immediately. Also the temperature stays really stable over time and recovers rapidly while soldering. One thing you have to get used to though is how the soldering iron turns off since there is no simple on off button. We did two small battery tests to see how long the battery of the iron would last. During the first test we soldered a couple pins and put the iron back into the holder for charging and repeated this process for about 10 minutes. As you can see, the battery slowly drains over time on average, but normally you don't use a soldering iron for very long, so the battery of this soldering iron won't be any issue. During the second test, we kept soldering fanatically without recharging the iron, so we could see how long it takes to drain the whole battery. The result of this experiment was that it takes about 6.5 minutes to completely drain the battery of the soldering iron. So, we can conclude that this iron is not suitable for assembly line work. 
In short summary, in this video I have discussed the pros and cons of having a wireless soldering station and I have shown you the new B210 soldering station. We have discussed the wireless soldering iron, the tablet and the stand. And lastly we have discussed how the iron performed. Hopefully you have learned more about this new soldering station and I hope to see you at the next video.